Hey, Sophie, look, I, I need to talk to you. That nose is as big as my balls. And I got a hot date with my Ripper Doc. Come on, I now make the dock wait. Pull some pants on your culo and get down here. Subway entrance and bring your iron. Okay, Jackie has just told us that he has some big news for us. And we have an appointment with our Ripper Doc today. Before we leave, let's take a good look around our apartment. Good morning, Night City. The song on the radio is by rocker boy Johnny Silver. It's part of our creative process to draw inspiration from the pen and paper system created by Mike Pondsmith and to put our own 2077 spin on it. Let's go grab our gear. Okay, we'll take these trusty pistol. And also grab our jack. Since Cyberpunk 2077 is an RPG, the jacket not only provides us with protective stats like armor, but it also increases our street cred. Street cred is a form of experience the player acquires by completing side missions. It is used to unlock new vendors and content throughout Night City. All right, let's go meet Jack. V's current apartment is located inside a mega building, a huge building complex that forms a micro society of its own. In this timeline, technology and the world have evolved in some ways that seem familiar, but entirely surprising in others. As an example, in this world, people pay with eddies, slang for Euro dollars. We make sure to root every detail in the world's lore, so everything has its purpose and stays believable. A big part of our RPG experience is having a world that is interactive. Here, a generic ad has morphed into an advertisement specifically tailored to V, informing her of the nearest vendor she can purchase the product. In this case, it shows us where to find some Nicola soda. This is Wilson, one of Night City's many gunsmiths. We won't be checking his wares today, but you can purchase and upgrade your weapons and gear throughout the city. Cyberpunk 2077 is set in Night City, a bustling metropolis located on the coast of the free state of North California. It's a dystopian city where violence and oppression are the norm. We are working hard to make Night City a fully realized, seamless open world with no loading screens. Currently, we're in Watson, a former industrial district where crime now mixes with money. Very strong, sick. You kidding me? Damn signal gonked out three times. Three times, yo! It's a piece of shit. Now give me back my eddies. Silverhand's debut album, that. Now no sense, he asked me. Could be some truth to that. We've greatly enhanced our crowd and community system to create the most believable city in any open world game to date. The city's streets are bustling with crowds of people from all facets of life, all living their lives within a full day and night cycle. Okay, there's Jack. Fucking finally. Buckle up. Shit's happening. What's up, Jack? Dexter Deshaun. Huh? Eh? Sound familiar? 
Bloomberg wants to talk to you here. One of Night City's top fixers, eh? Okay, you see that caddy? Need to walk on over there and get us a job, I know. Hi, I'll meet him. Talk. I'll be in Senior Rippers. Good news to me. Good luck, V! It turns out we've caught the attention of one of Night City's biggest players, Dexter Deshaun, a fixer. A person who gets things done. He wants to meet up and discuss a job. Get in. Let's see what he has for us. Yo, Miss V, a pleasure. Let's roll. Scanning the serious job just now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab horn. You interested? Interested, sure. Tell me more. Well, glad to hear it. Before we can start in on this, though, I need to be sure. Sure you all right. All right. And the nature of this test? Slot in the show. See, got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang, just doing his thing, jumped a corp convoy, got away with gear. Now I need me that little combat buy. They call it the flathead. Of course, I got the eddies to buy it, but me and the Maelstrom boys ain't the best of friends. No flow to our convo, see? Who's the woman? Corporal agent. She's on the hunt for the dogs who sold the Gangoon's info on the convoy. Got herself a prisoner. Her chief suspect, most likely. Going on 20 hours since the convoy was jumped and she still don't have no guilty body. Gotta be desperate by now. Be wise to think how you could use that. Got any questions for me? Clear on it all, I think. Time I got to work. Beautiful. Here's hoping my inkling checks out. So, see you at the afterlife soon as the job's done. Do good, and this will be the start of a beautiful friendship based on heaps of eddies. It seems Dexter has given us a test of sorts to see if we're worthy. He wants us to retrieve a piece of high-tech combat gear, a local gang stole from the Militech Megacorp. We'll be able to approach this job from a variety of angles. Let's try calling the Militech contact to see where that leads. It's out here. Hi, um, heard you were looking for some tech. Let's talk. Hey, everybody shut it! Where is it? Come on, Spell! On the horn? No. Uh. Amateur hour, Jesus. First exit off Skyline going towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there. The situation's tricky because the contract giver is a corporate agent who seems a little high strung. Before we get down to business, it's a great idea to visit our Ripper Dog. See this camera? Yeah, got a real whack tape, change your fucking life. Crime is a common occurrence. Night City is not a safe place. Life here is not easy. a little out of whack, babe. V! I can release... How'd it play out with Dex? It's all here. All right. I'll check it out while I wait for you. V? Dr. Vector, we'll see you now. We're at a Ripper Doc clinic. 
Ripper Docs are specialist vendors who offer people the possibility to install or upgrade their cyberware. Well, well, Hiroshi. Mm -hmm. Well, Vic's got a soft spot for you, Heine. Come on, how about you use them fancy ass optics to scan my new wheels? Sure, but you'll have to let me take it for a spin. Hey, just watch the paint job. Hey, Carnal! Hey, you got a problem? This guy looks an awful lot like one of those scavengers we took out earlier. Something tells me there wasn't no coincidence, huh? Jackie's car is a super-powered sports car running on Chew 2, the superfuel of the future. Players can explore Night City freely, in many different cars, on bikes, and in other types of vehicles. This does not look good. Puta madre! Grab the wheel, Jack! Oh, fuck! It looks like the scavengers from earlier are still angry. They're pulling ahead, Heine. Watch it now. Got it. All right. I think we got rid of him. That was intense. Ah, shit! The fuck was that? Night City never sleeps. Danger lurks around every corner, even in daytime. Random encounters like these are an example of how your actions directly influence your open world experience. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, Jackie. So, think they're done riding our asses? Scavs? Uh, sure, maybe. Should be looking for a new spot to slice and dice, not gunning after us. Who knows? Real messed up in there, those guys. Saw it yourself. Many forces are fighting for control of Night City, but the mega corporations are the real showroom. The agent we're going to meet represents Militech, one of the largest companies in the private military sector. What are we stopping? Remember the corpo off Dex's shard? Ranger, she's in the area, and we're gonna meet. Let me guess. She's in hot corporal water. Desperate. Then you think you can use that. See if I can, yeah. Since Cyberpunk 2077 is an RPG, preparation will be key when dealing with Night City's powerful, especially when these are corpos. Instead of just rushing in, Let's assess the situation with our freshly installed Kiroshi optical scanner. There. Let's take a closer look. Composite armor. Car's a fucking tank. Be there soon. What do you expect? Corpse don't forgive or forget. Even these Borg fucks sense that. Feel the pressure. That's why they're holed up in this shithole, praying to the almighty Trip Six. They gotta move the tech, but they can't. Because your new best friend from the tripped out, tanked out SUV is just begging them to try. How you wanna do this? Even now, we can choose how to approach this quest. Do we go in guns blazing, or do we try to negotiate All right. for the plan? Plan's simple. We pay with the Corpo's cred and get out. I don't know, but. You're calling this one. For this demo, let's try oh, the more diplomatic approach. Uh, hmm. Tough shit. All we need's for them to buy it. <laughs> Don't know you. Want to talk to Royce? Main room. I'm waiting. <laughs> Yeah, I'm well prepared. 
prepared. All strapped with Militech gear. Psycho Borch chromed out with military grade hardware worth millions. Should be the guys we're about to meet are dangerous. They are members of the Maelstrom gang, and their obsession with body modification goes way beyond even this world's standards. On their path to becoming machines, they don't shy away from even the most extreme measures. Anti personnel mine. Shrapnel's bitter. Hm, my favorite. Kangoon's getting creative with their gear. It looks like they made this abandoned All Foods Meat Factory their hideout. Charming. Another one? Seriously? Maybe we should have taken him by surprise. A little late for regress like that. Got us in their sights now. Just keep moving. Stay cool. They're just trying to spook us. Remember. We've chosen to buy the tech, not steal it. Hopefully this will go yeah, fast and easy. This is a pretty well-guarded place. You can imagine what would have happened if we'd taken the violent path. 